Hey guys, it's Jen. I thought I'd um, show you guys a quick video on some things that I've been working on and then do a tutorial on how I made um, these butterflies here. So basically lately I've been making all kinds of um, different flowers um, but having a lot of fun on making flowers. Um, been inspired by a couple different ladies, um, Roxy Car 11, um, Scrapstress, and just playing around and coming up with some ideas of my own. Um, I This one was inspired by um, oh, uh, Saw Crafter. She makes some amazing um, flowers. I made this butterfly on this tag here. Um... Oh, I like this butterfly. This is one of my favorites. I think I'm going to put that on a tag or something. This flower, it's not finished yet. It's just in the base white. What I do to save money, um, oh, and not just money, but um, storage, because I don't have a lot of storage anymore, I tend to buy things in um, base, like all pretty much white, white or cream, and then I glimmer mist them myself or distress ink them. <clears throat> I've stocked up on glimmer mist and distress inks and then everything else, like all my trims, I either paint them or I dye them or like a lot of my ribbons, I'll dye it just to, you know, save on, save on storage space. This one's made out of fabric. Here's another one. I used the puffy paint on the edges, but I didn't put a center, a bling center in them yet. I couldn't decide which one I wanted to use. There's been some amazing tutorials on them that I've been uh, playing around making my uh, beaded centers too. So one of them, I'll pick one and it'll go in, in the center of the flower, but I haven't finished that yet. And then this one I just did um, last night. I was playing around with felt and looking at some of the new Prima flowers on online and I saw this this uh, this flower was one of the new Prima flowers that they're releasing that they just released. So I I was playing around and tried to make something myself. And there's this butterfly out of fabric. Oh, and then just um just the paper rose that I made. So pretty simple. But let's get started. These are the butterflies that I'm actually going to show you guys how to make today. Um, I just love the glitter in them and the sparkle and the color. My one of my favorite things to use are Pearl X pigments. I love them. Um, I like to use them on a lot of different things that I'm um, that I'm altering. So I'll show you how to do that today. I'm going to get out my uh, my um, non-stick craft mat. I use this all the time. <clears throat> okay, my water paintbrush. Today the colors I'm going to use are um, du dual green yellow and turquoise <coughs> and then of course I have my gum Arabic as a binder because Pearl X does not come with a binder so I have that I just love the color that Pearl X gives so to do these flowers I'm gonna pull out some of my Prima flowers here and you could go ahead and um, just cut out or punch out your die cuts if you have like um, a five or a six petal um, puddle punch. So we're going to use that one and maybe this one. Okay, we're going to use these two flowers. Clear out these. Okay, so I'm just going to start with a white base flower. Now on the bottom one, what I'm going to do is just cut off one of the petals just like that and I save these petals because I'll do other things with them so that one now this one's a six petal so we are going to cut off two okay, and then we're left with with um, four petals this will be the top and then that will be the bottom layer Okay, let's start with the bottom one. I think I want to do the bottom one in like the darker blue. So we're going to take just a little bit of the blue and put that on our mat. Make sure that I'm in the frame. And then the gum Arabic. Oh, way too much. 
believe the mixture is supposed to be one to three. Um, three parts color. Oh, no, one to four. One part gum arabic to four parts color. Okay. Now you could use, you could, um, let me just get the pigment off my, my, um, scissors there. Um, you can use a spray bottle and spray it, or if you have an aqua pen, you can just squeeze out the water and then just start mixing it until you get that like a paint consistency and all the powders kind of mixed in there. If you want to make it like a lighter color, you just add more water. If you want to keep it a darker color, you add less water. Okay, and then once you got that kind of mixed up, you are just going to start painting your petals. And you can use a paintbrush for this too. You don't have to use the aqua pen. Sorry for the noise. I've got my window open. It is a gorgeous day here in Pennsylvania. We usually don't get weather this nice. It's about 76 degrees out or even warmer than that by now um, this early in the season. So I'm just kind of enjoying the nice fresh air and I have all my windows open. And then we're just going to keep painting it until it's all painted. And just fill in all the leaves. It takes a couple minutes to get all the color saturated in there really well. And the pearl shine that comes from these pearlex, I, it's amazing. I've had my Perlex pigments for a long time. I think I got my Perlex pigments um, from Hobby Lobby about about five years ago. <clears throat> They're a little pricey, but they they last forever. I don't even think I've got all the colors that there are. And you can make your own glimmer mists out of them. I've done that, and then I just use a little bit of gum arabic in there. Some people use glue or hairspray. I just add a little bit of the gum arabic, and I picked my gum arabic up online at um, Joanne Crafts. They I don't they don't sell it in the store. I got whenever I do my online order from Joanne's, that's when um I get that. Okay, we've got that one pretty well saturated. I'm gonna lay that aside to dry, and maybe I'll hit it with the heat gun here in a minute. Okay, we're gonna take our second our second um, flower petal and I'm going to use the duo green I'm gonna use a paintbrush instead to get that out of there you only need a little bit I tend to go a little overboard with uh, my pigment Then I'm just going to mix these together too. Squeeze out a little water. This is my favorite color, I think. I use this one a lot, which is I'm surprised because I love pink and black so much, but this shade of green, I've used it on so many different things. Okay, we're just going to go ahead and fill in these petals just like we did the, the top layer. I'm trying to go fa a little bit fast because I don't know how to speed up the video when you uh, transfer it, when you're recording before you put it on YouTube. If anybody knows how to do that, um, 
I would love to learn because I know a lot of people in their videos when it's taking them a long time they'll just kind of speed it up um, and that's a technique I would love to learn. Video editing is not my thing. I'm surprised I've learned to do as much as I have on the video editing. But everything's a process, a learning curve, and computers and video is definitely something I need to learn more about. Okay, once you have that colored in pretty well, like I could probably fill in that a little bit more with some more green. But I think it's going to be good enough for the video demonstration so we can move along with it. Okay. We're finished. There we go. I used up all the green. Okay. Um, if you hear somebody crying in the background, that's my little guy. He's supposed to be taking a nap, and I have his baby um, monitor on, so I'm sorry about that. But um, Okay, what I'm going to go ahead and do is just go ahead and hit this with the heat gun. Sorry about the noise. I'm going to try to heat it as fast as I can. Now usually I do the back sides as well, but today I didn't do that. Just for uh, trying to make this video a little bit quicker. guys it's taking a little bit long so I'm gonna go ahead and I'll be right back as soon as I dry these okay guys I'm back I finished drying them I just didn't want you guys to have to sit there and watch me dry them with that loud uh, gun going off so um okay what we're gonna do next is we're going to go ahead and uh, layer our butterflies I'm just gonna place a little bit of glue I'm gonna stick the light green on top of the dark green see if I make sure I'm in camera there. Just layer them up so that the wings overlap a little bit. Okay, once you have that done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this color uh, wire. You could certainly use like the silver if you want, but I want to add some extra color, so I picked up these different wires in the jewelry section that have different um, colors in them and we're just going to cut a couple links off of there maybe it might be like three three and a half inches long okay, okay and then what I'm going to do is just curl over the ends there just to kind of get it started. I'll start with a loop and then I just kind of use my fingers to kind of keep rolling it to give that antenna a tunnel. Yeah, there we go. And then it'll kind of curl like that. If you can see that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do that to the next one. Okay, and then I'm going to pick out three beads that I like. I don't know if I want to use crystals or pearls. I think I'm going to go with crystals. Okay. 
I picked out a couple crystals and then I'm just gonna line my wires up and feed my crystals through. And this is a fairly thick wire here, this one I'm using. It's a lot easier if you use um, the thinner wire. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and pull out, separate the um, antenna. And then I'm just going to place a little glue between each of the crystals so that they won't move later. Of course this glue I think is dried, the tip is dried. There we go. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and a little bit of glue. It's a little bit messy, but that glue will dry clear later on. We won't see that. Okay. Now you can do one of two things: is you can um, curl the other ends just like you did the tops, or I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tuck it behind my butterfly. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of glue right down the center. These are quick and easy um, butterflies to do. They don't take very long. And then I'm just going to fold the wire behind the butterfly because later on if I want to use this, I could stick this wire into something to kind of make it look like it's coming up off of um, something that I alter. So I'll save that for later by just tucking it behind and then I can decide later if I just want to glue it on a page or if I want to use the wire to stick it in. Okay. So right now we have our butterfly, the base of our butterfly. You can do a couple different things at this point. Um, you can use glitter and you can glitter up the wings like I did here. I just used some chunky kind of sparkly glitter. But I'm going to go ahead and use um, Martha Stewart, this coarse glitter. I grab my glitter tray and I think I'll use my scotch adhesive. And what I did is I just went over the wings with glitter. And fill them in. And we're just going to sprinkle the glitter on. I love this coarse glitter. I use it all the time on so many different projects. And then see that sparkle? I love that. And then probably just to finish it off, just because I can't seem to leave well enough alone, I might use some... Um, baby blue stickles just around the edge. Kind of just touch, tip the edges. It'll give a, the wings just a little bit more dimension too. And there you go. Let me just adjust the adjust the antenna. And there's your um, quick, simple, easy um, paper butterfly. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day.